Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we are here with a video on which layer task you should do in old school RuneScape in my endless adventure to make as many guides as possible. If you guys enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. On top of that, got plenty of places you can hang out with me and others in-game. Got a friends chat, a clan chat, and also a Discord. All of those links are down below if you want to check them out. Good place to hang while you're on the Slayer grind. But with that said, let's go ahead and get into the guide. So I'll be going through most of the higher level Slayer monsters. There are a ton of them, so I had to cut off the lower level fat. For the most part with low level tasks, you're going to want to do almost all of them. I'll be grading the XP per hour on a skill from 1 to 10, the loot per hour on a skill from 1 to 10. I'll throw in another attribute or two that I think is prevalent to the task, and then whether or not it is worth doing. Keep in mind that the 1 through 10 grade of the XP per hour and loot per hour is relative to where I feel like the task is. So if it's a really high level task like Cerberus, that will be graded differently than a lower level task like Banshees. So it's all on the sliding scale. It's a bit subjective. So with Slayer, I really recommend you try a task to see if you enjoy it and then really take my opinion into account i wouldn't blindly trust it but if you if you want that, that's up to you so we'll be going through alphabetical order there will be timestamps down below we'll start with aber inspectors for the xp per hour here i think it's a five out of ten good xp per hour however the aber inspectors aren't close enough to really make it to afk you have to do a little running in between the loot per hour is a six out of ten you get a lot of good seeds a lot of good alkables and some good herbs as well um, as i mentioned before it's not as afk because they're not well stacked but overall i think it's worth doing then next we have abyssal demons the xp per hour here is a 7 out of 10 because they don't have that high of defense and you can use an arc light and the loot per hour is an 8 out of 10 because of the whips and the alkables that you can get here it's a nice task for good melee xp and a nice whip every now and then it's also pretty afk if you do this in the catacombs you can stack a bunch on top of you and i think afk tasks are a lot better because then you can kind of focus on other things abyssal sire is a possible secondary option for me it's kind of an eh i'm not really a big fan but overall the task is worth doing and i would personally go with abyssal demons rather than sire for addy dragons not much to talk about here the xp per hour is terrible because they have really high defense loot per hour is also pretty terrible considering how hard they are to kill however it is a quick task so i think it's worth doing just for that alone anku's xp per hour is a 6 out of 10 not too bad you can stack a lot of them on top of you in the catacombs so that's nice the loot per hour is a 3 out of 10 and it's a quick task in afk so personally i think it's worth doing not a bad task but nothing too bad either for black demons the xp per hour here i put it a 5 out of 10 because you can use the arc light here if you're not using the arc light it's even worse than that the loot per hour is a 2 out of 10 because really all you're looking forward to is maybe some rune chain bodies every now and then overall a very slow task so i would recommend trying it yourself and seeing what you think and the same goes for the demonic gorillas that's a possibility after monkey madness 2 of better loot however they are pretty hard to kill and a bit annoying so really it's up to you on whether or not you like them then we have black dragons here the xp per hour is a three out of ten you can use dragon hunter items if you're that high of level the loot per hour is a three out of ten as well it's really not that great especially given how long they take to kill if you do brutal black dragons they're not bad there are many options which is what i was kind of getting to there you can kill baby black dragons is a really quick way of doing this task kbd for the boss version and brutal black dragons for a good afk money maker so overall i would definitely say they're worth doing depending on what kind of dragon you kill the loot per hour could be a lot better like with the brutal so there are ways to improve it for the bloodfelds the xp per hour is a 7 out of 10 you can cannon them in almost all of their locations so that's very nice or in the catacombs you can stack them all on top of you the loot per hour is not great at all at a 2 out of 10 but it's very easy xp so in my opinion it's worth doing basilisk xp per hour is 4 out of 10 loot per hour is a 3 out of 10 not too bad kind of notable for med level but nothing great you can kill basilisk knights as well however i'm not a massive fan of those they have the jaw which is somewhat worth it and overall i would say basilisk are worth doing because they're a decent med level slayer monster for blue dragons here the xp per hour is a 3 out of 10 because they're just insanely slow for the lower level people that could be killing them loot per hour is a 5 out of 10 because it's not that bad and you're getting bones and hides every kill and again like many other dragons there's a lot of options with the baby blues and the vorkath overall definitely worth doing bronze dragons xp per hour two out of ten loot per hour one out of ten it's a quick task however the kills are just insanely hard so at early level you don't have to kill many so maybe it's okay however it's not going to be fun so personally i pass k4's xp per hour is a 7 out of 10 not bad at all the loot per hour as well with the black mess you can get in the herbs and the seeds definitely nice afk as well afk as well and i would say worth doing dagonauts are amazing xp per hour given that you can cannon them in multi the loot per hour isn't great you'll get a little bit of seeds but again great for cannons 
You can try out Diagonoth Kings, that's a great option for people with noted bones through the diary and for early levels trying to get into a little bit of bossing. Overall, worth doing in my opinion. Dark Beasts are next, XP per hour is a 7 out of 10, not bad at all. Loot per hour, a eh, little underwhelming uh, given the Dark Bow is basically worthless. Overall, AFK, good with a cannon, so I'd say worth doing. Drakes are rough, XP per hour is a 3 out of 10 and loot per hour is a 2 out of 10. Lots of banking as well, considering the damage and the loot that you'll have to pick up. And so overall, it is a pass for me. I'm not a fan at all. Dust Devil's XP per hour is a 10 out of 10, and the loot per hour is a 6 out of 10. This is absolute bursting heaven, so you're going to enjoy it if you like bursting and getting really fast XP. You can also pay back all the supplies you use, which is why the loot per hour is pretty high, so it's a must-do in my opinion. Elf's XP per hour is a little low at 4 out of 10. Loot per hour is also not that great, but it is cannonable. Personally, I'm not that big of a fan. If you have the Prift in a spot unlocked, it's not too bad. Really try for yourself and see what you think about it i i sometimes do and sometimes skip them really depends on my mood fossil island wyverns xp per hour is a 2 out of 10 they're not that easy to kill and takes a little bit of time loot per hour is a 6 out of 10 though not bad for loot not great either and overall a pretty fast task so i'd say here try for yourself see what you think again a lot like elves sometimes i'll do them sometimes i'll skip really depends on my mood then gargoyles xp per hour is a 7 out of 10 really good xp and the loot per hour is very good as well at 8 out of 10 it's also afk if you're killing regular gargoyles and you do have the option to kill the grotesque guardians which in my opinion is not really worth doing but overall the task as a whole is worth doing for greater demons here xp per hour is an 8 out of 10 again a task where you can use an arc light so always a fan of that however the loot per hour is a 1 out of 10 you're basically getting nothing other than the occasional rune helm it's an afk task so in my opinion worth doing for the xp hellhounds again here 8 out of 10 on xp per hour much the same as the greater demons loot per hour is a 0 out of 10 you will get nothing other than hard clues and even those are painful and i wouldn't recommend doing you can afk though and you also have the opportunity to do cerberus which i love of a ton i'm such a big fan of cerberus so would recommend that and overall the task as a whole would say it's worth doing for hydra here i'm just assuming the alchemical hydra the boss the lower level hydra are not worth doing in any sense but the boss has pretty good xp per hour and the loot per hour is out of this world so i would recommend it it is a konar exclusive though so you got to take that into account but it is worth doing no doubt at all infernal mages three out of ten xp per hour three out of ten loot per hour honestly nothing too staggering there they deal you a good bit of damage considering it's pretty early on in the game when you start doing these and mage based attacks can kind of wreck you so i'm just gonna go with eh if you want to do them go ahead personally Early on, there's not a lot of tasks that I would say to skip, so if you want to use your points here, I wouldn't be against it. For Jad, the XP per hour here is really good considering you get a nice 25k bonus for completing a run of the fire cape. Loot per hour is terrible because you're only getting fire capes and you're actually spending a lot of money on supplies, so you got to take that into account. But it is a fun pet hunt, so I'd go ahead and say try it first. Personally, I did like 20 or 30 of these tasks before I got bored. For jellies, the XP per hour is an 8 out of 10 because this is a burstable task, and the loot per hour is a 3 out of 10. They drop a little bit of stuff. Stuff, but nothing too crazy i would say it's worth doing for cow fights the xp per hour is a 9 out of 10 because you can cannon them in multi so that's really good loot per hour is very poor at a 1 out of 10 and overall it's a nice cannonable task so i'd recommend that if you're into cannoning there's also low level options of these that you can kill that make the task even easier and a little bit quicker worse xp though overall i'd say it's worth doing for lizardman shaman the xp per hour is a 3 out of 10 nothing too great but not too bad either loot per hour is somewhat decent um, but it is a slow task. You do usually get a lot of these to kill and the killing method isn't anything that's going to be too speedy. So I'd recommend to try it out first, see what you think. Right now the Dragon Warhammer is at an all-time low by a long shot. So with the Dragon Warhammer at around 20 to 25 mil at the moment, not as enticing as it used to be whenever it was 60. For Mithril Dragons, the XP per hour here is pretty terrible considering they have such high defense. The loot per hour is okay but not really justifiable considering how slow they are but it's an insanely quick task in the sense that you get so few assigned so for that reason i think it's worth doing for the points neck reels are 10 out of 10 xp per hour just amazing bursting or barraging task the loot per hour is a 7 out of 10 pays for all of your supplies and more and again just a great bursting or barraging task in general so i'm a big fan definitely worth doing red dragons their xp per hour is a 3 out of 10 and the loot per hour is a 4 out of 10 nothing too staggering in any of those regards it's a higher level dragon so it's harder to kill and dragons don't really drop anything too great obviously the bones and the hides but that's really about it the great thing here is that you have options you can kill regular dragons baby red dragons or brutal red dragons so if you want to make money you go to brutals if you just want to get the task done quickly you go to babies so for that reason it's worth doing for rune dragons their xp per hour is a 1 out of 10 again really high level dragon hard to kill loot per hour though very very good so that's what kind of is the redeeming quality of this task and it's also very quick so i would say it's worth doing for that 
For Skeletal Wyverns, the XP per hour is a 3 out of 10. Not great, but not terrible. Loot per hour is a 5 out of 10. Could be a little bit higher, to be honest, but if you're doing these at a low level, they are a bit difficult to kill, so also a relatively quick task. You're not going to get too, too many assigned, and you'll be making money, so it's worthwhile for that. For Smoke Devils here, the XP per hour is a 10 out of 10, and the loot per hour is a 3 out of 10. Not as good loot that you would expect to get at, like, Dust Devils or Necreals, and a little bit harder to loot as well, so for that reason, not as great in that regard, but still definitely worth doing the burst and barraging gains are out of this world and you can also do the thermonuclear smoke devil which personally i recommend doing a little bit of i wouldn't stay there forever because it really doesn't get you a ton of gp but if you want to go for the pet hunt definitely worthwhile spiritual creatures xp per hour is a two out of ten loot per hour is a two out of ten honestly a terrible task very annoying would not recommend so i'm just gonna pass on that steel dragons here much the same two out of ten xp per hour two out of ten loot per hour a very slow very slow task let me say that and you can get this basically at almost any level so definitely a pass would not recommend these sequas are an eight out of ten in xp per hour and a one out of ten in loot per hour they really drop nothing at all but they are cannonable and in multi so they're good for that if you're not planning on canning them i wouldn't do them at all and i'd recommend to try them out first see if it fits what you like and then move from there but i could easily see someone canceling these or thinking that these are a great task there's really no in between though terror dogs are a decent xp per hour task but very bad loot overall very quick though so i would recommend this one as far as trolls they're all also decent XP per hour and the loop per hour isn't terrible. You can also cannon these as well, so definitely worth doing in my opinion. Tour author, relatively slow XP per hour task, however the GP per hour makes this a little bit better for med levels, so I'd say to try this first and see if you like it. For high levels it may be a little less worth it and probably a skip. Then for Vire Watches here, the XP per hour is pretty decent, loot per hour is also pretty decent with the blood shards you can get, and it's AFK, so in my opinion it's worth doing. And then we have Worms, this one's been debated endlessly in my clan chat. The XP per hour is pretty decent and so is the loot per hour, however it's a really slow task so i recommend to try it first because if you actually enjoy it then it'll be a really slow task that you can enjoy for a while but if you don't then it's just going to feel so painful and then with zygomites the xp per hour here is a 4 out of 10 not great at all the loot per hour is even worse but it's a very quick task so in my opinion that is also worth doing and that is the end of the list so that's going to be it for this guide on which slayer monsters to kill hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a like on top of that plenty of places you can check me out in my community down below in the description i'd appreciate that greatly and if you want to see more videos like this as soon as i go live make sure to subscribe but with that said hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh peace